on Sanctum 3D. The billionaire, businessman, whatever, was never really sure what he was, except for Jean-Claude Van Damme at age 20. Is that just me? He was kind of just trouble all the way, wasn't he? I mean, first he causes the death of his girlfriend, wife, fiance, love interest who has to get half naked because the scriptwriters wrote in a scene about her not wanting to wear a dead person's wetsuit. Then he. I mean, after causing her death, he blows the last rebreather, then they find him again, then he attacks, he wastes a... you know, they don't kill him, he wastes a flare, and... yeah. He was kind of stupid all the way. I do think this did an okay job otherwise of not having the people die because they made mistakes. That's always quite irritating. I mean, it makes whatever we're supposed to be scared of scarier when the people are doing the smart things, you know, and it still doesn't work out. It's gotta suck to be George. I didn't see him go underwater. Maybe he eventually did, but how long is that going to take him to die there? I mean, yeah, he's got the decompression sickness, but if he's not, you know, under the water, it's going to take him a long time to die. I'm not entirely sure what he would die of first. I guess if the water keeps coming in, he will eventually drown, but if I was him, I'd go underwater. At first, I kind of thought that Josh was going to continue repelling, see if he could outrun the parachute that billionaire douche was using. I'm not entirely sure if I'm glad that he didn't or not. He did do a lot of other kind of stupid, not outright pranks, but, you know, with the whole flashlight thing, how obvious was it that that was going to get used before the end of the film? And it's really nice that it supplies that much light, you know, not just a little bit in front of him to navigate, but no, you know, some behind him causing nice little shadows and such. The tank, it was a nice enough visual, maybe not the tank itself, but the bit of ground that was missing and, you know, that was how far below the ground they were, below ground level, and excuse me, but other than that, I don't know, I guess it was a light source for them to get to, but it did seem like, I don't know, it would have been cool if there had been more to it. I did like the makeshift uh, torches, though. In general, just near the end, it just didn't seem to work as well. Maybe after the father died, I think the film lost something. It wasn't quite as exciting. But yeah, that's about what I have to say about it that has spoilers. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Sanctum 3D. Hope